Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements, and today we've got this two-drawer oversized nightstand or small dresser <clears throat> that we're going to turn into a dog dresser slash feeding station for them. So follow along as we transform this piece into something pretty cool. All right, first we're going to take these drawers out and we're going to take the hardware off. Then we're going to pop this top off. Hopefully it's not glued down, but we'll deal with that if it is. So, hardware off, drawers out, then we'll start taking the top apart. Of course it was glued down super well, but it had a couple screws across the sides and uh, front and back and into the sides here. So we're going to have to clean this up, we're going to have to putty the bottom of the, the, uh, the top, fix that all up where the glue pulled it away, you can kind of see from here. So we'll sand all that down, we'll get this all smoothed out, we'll get these off. We've got a nice track here, which is going to be a great starting point. We're going to take this off. And we're going to create a box that's going to fit this void right here. So let's start taking a little bit more things apart. We're going to get this all cleaned up, get these removed so we can determine the size of our box and we can start building that for this area. Okay, since this is going to be a box where we're going to hold our dog food and we don't need this track, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it down a little bit so it'll actually sit as a brace in between here in the middle for our box to sit into. So, let's give that a cut. Let's glue it in and let's move on to the next thing. All right, so we've got a table saw over here, miter saw here. We're gonna create the box where it'll sit on top of this. We know it's 35 across. <clears throat> we know it's 15 and a half. I put an extra brace back here so we can have something to hinge to. And we know our depth is nine and three fourths. So we're gonna go over to the table saw. We're gonna cut our base, our bottom piece, and then we'll work on building the sides and the front and the back, and then we can start uh, gluing and nailing it all together and uh, create a little box for this piece. So, let's begin. Alright, you can see we've got our box built and it's going to hold quite a bit of food so that's going to be awesome for uh, the people that buy this. Now, since we got rid of this drawer, full drawer here, we don't want to just bust it all up and, and just destroy it. What we've got to do is we've got to save this front piece which will get glued here but we're also going to use components of this to build our food and water tray for our bottom drawer. So uh, we're going to try to knock it apart nice and easy, try to salvage everything, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we have broke down the top drawer, and this is the base from that top drawer, which is now going to be where our dog bowls will sit into. So what we've done is we've got bowls with a nice thick lip on it, We've traced out the outside rim, then we've uh, went in the spacing here to create our line inside here, which is where we'll cut in between. So this bowl will sit nice and flat in there and have the lip of the wood to capture. But before we did that, drawn these, cut this piece into the correct dimensions. We're going to keep this piece in as more of a structure piece and we'll have a piece of wood that will run down the middle here as our support. So, let's cut out these. Alright, we got everything to the point where we can start sanding down. There's a lot to sand here. Uh, a lot of problems that we had to fix and uh, manipulate. So we're going to sand everything down, try to get it as clean as possible. 
We'll start with the drawer here, door, drawer, the other drawer front, the top. We'll start working on the base and we'll see how this project comes out. This is all sanded down. It's been cleaned up for the most part. What I did was we've got to figure this this little puzzle out now. So we've got to paint the front of this drawer and the front of this drawer so we can put the handles on so then we can glue this piece on the front here and we can also then build the insides of this drawer uh, complete and then we can start uh, sealing the inside of those, seal the inside of this box, and then we can start painting the rest of this. Now, how are we going to attach this? Well, we're going to glue it by doing that. We've created our line where the drawer will go, and I've drilled three holes here where I'll screw from the back side into it to hold it in place while the paint, uh, while the, the glue dries, and the front of the drawer is painted, but well, then we can go back and then paint the frame with the drawer on it. So, got a lot of things to do here. Let's begin by painting the front of these drawers so then we can start working on gluing it, screwing it in, painting the frame, and then we can start sealing the inside. We're gonna also go with a, a black paint for this project. All right, correction, <laughs> we're gonna do, we're gonna do Dixie Bell uh, coffee bean. I didn't like how the uh, black was spreading over this wood. So we're going to switch it over to coffee bean by Dixie Bell. Chalk paint so it'll cover really nice. We'll do maybe a coat and a half and then we can go from there. Okay, so we have all the components <clears throat> for our drawer. We've got our front, our sides, our back, and then we've also got our centerpiece here that's going to run down the middle. So we're going to glue it all together, and then we're going to slide it into the uh, dresser drawer. Put the dog bowls in, we got this piece done. Now we're gonna work on the frame again. We gotta seal the inside. We've got to put the hinges for the top, get that all set up correctly. And then we've got some finalized painting to do. And then, well, I think we gotta seal this up too. Put a little wax on it. All right, we're gonna put our hinges on. We're gonna go in six inches on both sides and put in our uh, hinge. So, we've already marked this one out. Let's start screwing it in, and then we'll do the uh, do the same to the other side. All right, so I took my hinges that I screwed in here, then I took my top and laid it right next to it, measured it out so it was distance apart here, and then I put a stool back here to hold my top down, 
and then I screwed them in and created my top. So, got a nice top here for it. So from here, everything looks good. We're gonna paint the top, we're gonna paint any imperfections, we'll wipe it down, and then we can start sealing this piece up. All right, we're to our final steps here. We're gonna clear coat all of this, and we're going to use our polyurethane clear mat. So that's what we want. We want a flat color on this. So, only one way to get it done, and that's, and that's to get started. So, let's start on the inside of the drawer, work the face, and then we'll start working our way down. Here it is, Completed Coffee Bean by Dixie Bell. I like the color. So, when you go to Costco and you get one of those heavy bags of dog food, well, you can put it in your big tray up here. It'll hold all of it. It's been sealed so the dog food will stay fresh. And then when you're ready for them to eat, you just pull out this drawer, fill them up, and the dog will be ready to eat. You can even put water in it if you wanted. And when you have company come over, well, the top's already closed. Close up the door, and no one even knows. So, if you like this project and many of others, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll keep trying to do some cool projects with some old pieces of furniture.